So for today, we're going to be looking at what 801 is selling in the store. Specifically, we're going to be looking at what shader she's selling and what armor she's selling, because usually she does have some really dope armor and this week is no exception. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from her. But other than that, let's look at the first shaders, which is going to be vitrified duality. This is a really, really cool shader. This is from season of dawn, which was a while ago. This is from, I think the first season of the shadow keep expansion or specifically the season pass. So this is a while ago. Uh, if you missed that, miss this one, definitely pick it up. I really do like this shader. Uh, I like the blue for the cloth and also the white as well, which should be the off color. But also we see a lot of silver, a lot of yellow. And then for the off color for the armor would be this one right here. That's like brown almost. And then for the glow would be purple. I don't know the off color of the glow because glows usually do have an off color, but this is the best you guys will get because I don't want to be, be too intensive with the shadering because again, these are supposed to be fast. So that way you guys can just be aware of what she's selling for the next one. Bray innovations, a really good one as well. This is from Warmind, So it is a while ago. Don't know why it's taking forever. So now that it finally loaded, Bray Innovation is a pretty cool shader. This is from Warmind, which is super duper old. This is literally the second DLC that ever came out for Destiny 2. So this is a while ago. I would pick it up just because it's a really cool shader. On top of that, this is the uh, shader that is on the armor. Let me let me just show you real quick which one, which armor I'm talking about. The Braytec suit for the hunters. The Braytec, I, I guess it's Braytec suit for everyone. But yeah, all, all of this armor is using the uh, Braytec innovation shader, which is yeah, which is what you're seeing right now. So if you want to get that shader, definitely pick it up because again, some people might want that shader for that reason alone. And then last but not least, we have the Dead Orbit's Fate. This is the one of the few black and white shaders that we have in the game definitely a good shader i think this is probably the best black and white shader we have currently yeah there, there is other dead orbit shaders i just think this is the better one because there are a few other ones that we do have i'll show you guys real quick which ones we do have and we have this is the one she's selling right now dead orbits fate which is again really cool shader we have dead orbit camo which I'm not the biggest fan of this one. If you want to go for a camo look, it's really cool. But most of the time I'm not going for a camo look and then Dead Orbit Resurrection, which is the other really good one. The only thing is this will give you a distressed armor look specifically like you guys can see right here. There's a lot of like discoloration. Same thing for a lot of the armor as well. So this is a really good shader. I really like the shader, but on some armor pieces, it looks really, really bad. And then we have the other one, which she was selling last week, which is Dead Orbit Vision, which is cool, but I prefer a black and white one. So if you do want to get another black and white shader, which I highly recommend, Dead Orbit's Fate is a good shader for that. Uh, as for the armor itself, it's going to be the Tangled Web stuff for all the classes. I personally really like a lot of these pieces for the Hunter specifically. The helmet is really, really cool. It does have a glow as well. It is minor, but it does have a glow. The cloak is probably the coolest piece from the whole set. The arms also are really cool. Just be aware that one side is heavier than the other and then the boots are OK. And then the chest piece, I think, is the worst piece because uh, it has really weird uh, shadering in the stomach or the warlocks. I think the I'm going to be real with you guys. I think the chest piece is actually really, really cool. I think the arms are super cool as well. I think the bond is super fucking cool. And the boots are kind of basic, but they also are cool. And the helmet, I'm just not the biggest fan of like warlock helmets that have like a hole in the face and they just call it a day from there. To be fair though, this is from like, what is it? The second DLC of Destiny 1. So I kind of have to like give it some slack because it is like one of the original ones. So it's that's fair. Um, for the titan i actually think the helmet is really cool if it was symmetrical it would be even better and i know some people are like what do you mean the bottom of the uh, like um airplane wing thing uh doesn't have that it's actually clipped off so if both sides had that i would these this helmet would be super dope the chest piece very viable i could definitely use this in some sets the arms are very disappointing in my opinion i've never really liked them same thing with the boots it's just the asymmetry is really really rough and then the mark is like, OK, so Titans, Warlocks, Hunter, let me know if you guys are picking up any of these because they're really, really good. I really recommend the pieces that I pointed out just because they're really, really good. And if there were any piece that you would have to pick up like for per class, I would say for the Hunters, 
minimum the cloak i think the cloak is just so good the only problematic thing about it is that it takes shaders really really poorly um for the warlocks i would probably say class item as well and the chest piece those two are just really really good and for the titan i definitely think the helmet would be the best piece from the set and the chest piece as well so let me know what you guys think are you guys enjoying what ada one is selling usually i i'm gonna be real with you guys if she wasn't selling shaders like old shaders i probably would still wouldn't care about her because she doesn't sell armor that i'm like oh shit, i need this like if she was selling like some of the old armor from like vanilla destiny 2 specifically like some of the ornaments from crucible or the ornaments from iron banner stuff like that something like or i'm like i don't have that and that's wild because i usually have everything then i'd be more into it so i don't know let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later <laughs>